Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. This is actually our sixth hero spotlight for today, so <laughs> I guess my plan worked because I'm aiming for another six videos this day. So guys, I just want to remind you that I'm not rushing you to watch all of this video all at once in just one day. Just watch them when you can. Because I'm just making the most of Exos Heroes while the game is still here with us. Because on May 11, they will really, really shut down this game. So I don't know about you guys. Maybe this is nothing to you, I guess. But for me, I'm very attached to Exos Heroes because this game really makes me happy. And I'm just quite sad because they will no longer be playable after May 11. That's why I'm making the most of every every time there is i can log into the game and play and that's why i'm uh, i'm taking my time in doing hero spotlight videos for those heroes who have paid course just so that later on just in case we miss some of our heroes we can always go back here in my channel and check them out in the hero spotlight playlist because i have made a separate playlist for this hero spotlight so that everything will be in order and arranged so let's go to the hero's journal and then we are going to choose the legendary hero's tab and we see Victory Kirina over him. here. So first we are going to check out her skill set. Her passive is speedy dash increases own attack speed by 5 when an enemy dies. Stacks up to 4 times. So that happens when an enemy dies. And then her first skill is Shining Boomerang, deals 187% damage to one enemy and 60% chance to flick target with silence for 4 turns. Okay, there's a debuff. And then the second skill is Chain Slicer, deals 525% damage to one enemy and 90% chance to afflict target with Bind for 7 turns. So that's a huge damage. At the same time, she has a lot of debuff. Single Attack or single target DPS. She's quite strong, really. So we can see her here in the hero introduction. You can see she has this... I don't know if I can call this blindfold because it kind of looks different, but this it has this eye design here. So I'm not quite sure about this. And actually, this is my first time realizing that her hair is actually attached to these blades for real i mean i haven't used this character ever ever since but this is my first time checking her out here in the hero introduction and i was quite surprised that there are three swords or three blades attached to her hair at the end of her hair special bodyguard of shufraken irina and you can see she has this very strange appearance but she really looks nice, to be honest. And this is the default mode. This is the battle mode. Now for the skill preview. So she doesn't use her hair. This is the basic attack. So there's this boomerang. I'll take you out. This is the first skill. I wonder where that boomerang came from. <laughs> you can see it afflicted silence. Now the second skill. Oh, very nice skill animation. And let's check out her background story. So assassin, Kirina. So no wonder she has that look that assa assassin vibe <laughs> so sexist female nation is northbound frosty hero chair fated i fated <laughs> legendary or legendary grade hero element is frost she's 28 years old race is dark elf okay so she's a dark elf position chaos or chaos type hero her birthday is on june 7 special guard of shufraken Irina only no only follows the orders of Shufraken. She likes silence and shows no emotion, almost as if she doesn't have any feelings. She never hesitates to follow any of Shufraken's orders. Anything other than Shufraken's order has zero value to her. 
Since she guards Shufraken closely, her appearance indicates Shufraken's presence in the area. Kirina was a slave of a noble family who opposed Shufraken. Her eyes were damaged because of her master's mischief and Kirina was abandoned soon after. Also, her eyes were damaged. After Shufraken purged the noble family and took her as his own slave, Shufraken made Kirina devote absolutely loyalty to him. Kirina honored her martial arts skill even while suffering from unfavorable condition. While she lost her vision, she gained other sharp senses. Oh, I think I heard about that. Whenever a person particularly lost his or her sight, I think her other or his other senses became quite sharp, becomes quite sharp. So I think that also happens in real life. She became an excellent warrior quickly and Shufraken keeps Kirina beside him since he also trusts her. So that's a kind of sad background story. So because of her previous master's mischief, she happened to lost her eyes. But I think she can uh, hear, yeah, hear sharply. Or hear well. So let's check out her fate core. And I think she only has one. It's under the sands in time. There are only three characters over here, and you can, as you can see, Baraka has the gold fate core. So, the two black fate cores here are Legenstein, and the other one is Kirina. Violet de Luna, Kirina. So, it's like Dance of the Moonlight, I guess, in Spanish. So, Kirina from a parallel world who was rescued from human trafficking thanks to Prince Baraka. Oh, so this is quite a nice background story. So, she was saved. Uh, from human trafficking thanks to Prince Baraka. She serves Baraka with all her heart and is skilled enough to act as his personal guard as well. Whenever Baraka shows up in public, it's always after Kirina has scouted out the location first and they've never been targeted by anyone ever since. So I think this is a better background story for Kirina like, other than or aside from that of Shifraken. So you can see that her passive has this additional boiling so this is the Sans in Time special passive. Deals 300% extra damage when own skill hits an enemy one time per round. Afflict target with increased damage received by 30% for 4 turns. So this will really make Kirina very powerful because remember she has this second skill wherein she deals 525% damage to an enemy. So just like Lakenstein. Okay, let's take a closer look. So she's this. Her blindfolds are gone. So probably the mischief of the previous master didn't happen in this parallel world because Baraka was able to save her. So her eyes are safe. I'm pretty sure she's able to see here. She has this nice dress. Really unique dress. And it's quite nice. It really suits her. And she looks really happy. She has this happy vibes for the appearance effect. Not another step. Violet and Luna, Kirin. This is the default mode and this is the battle mode. And as you can see the boomerang over here. She still has this hair accessories attached to her hair, but instead of blades, it's now rings. So for the exclusive equipment, you can see this one. It really looks nice. Now let's check it here in the exclusive equipment button. As you can see, Tears of the Moon. You can purchase this for 18,000 cess. And upon equip, you can see that her attack will be increased by 30 and combat power by 10,000. Kirina's exclusive equipment, a boomerang crafted with lunar rocks that radiates gentle light. It was given its name due to how the light that reflected off of the boomerang during flight looks like tears dropping from the moon. Ooh. That's an interesting background description. <laughs> so let's equip it. Okay, this is the hero illustration. Okay, we just equipped the exclusive equipment and now we are going to check out her skill animation. Wow, her basic attack really looks nice. 
it has this blue effects. Probably because she's a frost element hero. You belong under the sands. I really like this version compared to the legendary great version. That's the first skill, and now this is the second skill. She looks so powerful. So that's the only fate for for Kirina, but let's just double check just in case we missed something. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we didn't miss anything because as far as I, re I can remember, she doesn't have any fate for aside from that black fate for. And those are the fate cores that were released lastly. Or those were the last fate cores. One of the last fate cores that were released. I kind of forgot if Order the Spade was the last, or I think it's Sans in Time before Shining Way. The last fate force that were ever released in Exo Heroes. So now we are going to go in the Manish Heroes button. And I'm not quite sure if I have a copy of her fate war, but let's check. Oh, okay. I have a copy. For him. Just one copy. Haven't fused it at all. When it comes to exclusive equipment, I don't have it. And since I'm not using Kirina, of course, I don't have any artifacts equipped on her, but I just equip random years so again since she is a damage dealer so therefore i am pretty sure you know what i am about to say when it comes to the different sets of equipment we can use her the possible gear sets you can go for breaker set that will increase attack go for sniper that will increase the effect hit and if you want to increase her critical hit rate go for critical set and then for destruction set that will increase the damage uh Critical damage. <laughs> and also, you can go for retaliation just in case you want to counter. This goes for every damage dealers out there, but that's not really that recommended much, but you can go for it. Yeah, I mean, you can go for it just to experiment. Aside from that, there's also Red Blood Set. It's for life steal, but I haven't tried that much. Only for uh, Schmidt. So let's go back to her skill set. So you can see there's this 300% extra damage when own skill hits. And this also 525% damage. So therefore, we want to look for gears that has a lot of critical damage that will make her damage even bigger. So for the gloves, you can see the main stat is defense in percent. This is actually wrong. This is totally wrong. Look for critical damage. If you want to make use of her uh, damaging skills when it comes to accessories we can go for the kit I guess let's just double check she has the buff on both of her skills you can see 60% chance of like silence okay that's good so I think we should go for effect hit over here not effect resist this is for tankies tankies <laughs> This is for tanks, in order for them to make tanky, so effect resist. But for Kirina, let's look for effect hit in percent. Okay, so when it comes to the substats, look for critical damage, critical hit rate, attack, effect hit, of course, at least 90% will do and above if you reach 100%, okay, that would be great. And also, attack speed, we want to make her speedy because I think that's the... Specialty of Chaos type heroes, I think in nature or by default, Chaos type heroes are more speedier compared to the attack type heroes. So we want to use attack speed. Okay, that's already there. But let's say we found a Fated Grade hero. Same as this. Uh, Fated Grade equipment. <laughs> okay guys, sorry about that. It's been 6 videos already, so probably... Most of the terms here are already mixed up in my head. <laughs> so let's say we have a faded grade gear, particularly boots. So let's look for attack speed as the main stat. And again, you can see it would be good if it's in percent. So there's attack in percent, attack in whole number, effect hit, which is in percent, 
and since we haven't enhanced this particular piece yet so you cannot see the fourth line so if it has something to do with damage dealing let's say critical hit rate critical damage so that's a good gear already final three over four since this one is in whole number so for every piece of gear there is and we know that there are six pieces of gears for every hero look for the substats wait i'm still thinking <laughs> okay look for the substats that are of attack attack speed critical hit rate critical damage and some effect hit that will be really good because then again we are going to make use of this 525 percent damage plus the 300 extra damage that will be really really crazy and this one also since she's a damage dealing character and also since she's from northern frosty therefore maxing up shufrakens signature force will do the trick also don't forget about her unleash potential and when it comes to blue fate core go for blue fate correra she will give buffs to chaos type heroes whichever nation they are from as long as they are chaos type and for the particular nation Norbon Frosty, you are going to look for Blue Fate Core Tobaki. He will be able to give buffs for characters under Norbon Frosty. So that will be all guys for today. We discussed about Irina. And please watch out for more Hero Spotlight because again, we are going to cover them all as long as they have Fate Cores. So again, please don't forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel and also for my YouTube channel as well where you can see all of my mobile games and console game adventures. This is Bear Gaming. Have a great day everyone.